Do you? No. I guess it's another Jack. What wow, you really, Jacks? you really are trusting, aren't you, lady? I don't. <laughs> she just looks kind of blank faced at him. Um, was that a joke? No. So you were two jacks or not? Yeah. Okay. So you have two jacks, Matoki, I guess. He'll just kind of lift up Pyro Jack to see if it's underneath his cape. And mm. be like, hey, 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 that's a man's private place under there. Car looks away. <laughs> There's nothing underneath the cave. Well, yeah, but she doesn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll be like, hey, I'm not ready for this kind of stage yet. Back off. What's Matoki said? <laughs> and uh, do you want to roll understanding? Yeah, I'd love to. I got, excuse me, I got like a plus one with Matoki. Yeah, you should have a plus one at least. Should be a four with him. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Sick. Wow. All right. So wow. you notice that um, Matoki genuinely feels he's genuinely like confused. He's like he, he isn't putting on any airs or anything. Yeah. He doesn't seem like he dislikes his persona. He just doesn't know why he has one. And as he's lifting up Pyro Jack, he noticed that his hands get really red. Like they look like they should fucking hurt, but uh, uh -huh. it doesn't at all. He doesn't have so any signs of pain or even noticing that you know. Um, he's changing. Coco, Coon, your hands. Um, are you okay? Huh? What about my hands? She just points at the color of them. Oh! <laughs> He'll let go of Jack. Um, hey, hey, hey. Hey, I don't want to class. He'll just kind of pat his hands on his, on his, uh, well, his legs are exposed since he's wearing, you know, the swimsuit. Right. I could, um, do they hurt? <laughs> Mm, they hurt my pride. <laughs> you just tilt her head like, what? Well, if you're not hurt, that's good then. Huh. Yeah, I can't lend a scratch on that kid. Yeah. Huh. Real demasculating. You'd know how to make a guy feel better, right, lady? It's... Hey, she just, she's just filtering oh, it back out. What? Is he just screaming now? Yes. <laughs> okay. Jack's just shit posting. I see. All right. So I'll just filter Jack and look towards Matoki. And then I guess you didn't really know about this. Uh, I mean, he's changed colors before when I've been to, like, Zimbabwe. He changed them again when I went to like, Australia. That was a fun. Wow, you've really been around the place, Coco. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, boarding school and stuff. Oh. Well, right. That would make sense, I guess. But, um, I mean, if you need help figuring this stuff out, I'm sure me and a lot of other people would be happy to help. I mean, you think I should? She just kind of purses her gloves for a second. I think it's important. It was something I neglected for a long time, and I kind of didn't realize a lot of important things happening around me to the people I care about. So, I think it's good to know about them for your own sake, so you can know more about yourself and everyone. Mm. And he'll just kind of, uh, he'll, he'll just kind of rub his hands and uh, he'll close his eyes and he'll be like, uh, I mean, I know there's a bunch of people who want to like her, uh, do uh, magic stuff, but I'm really not interested in it. I was kind of hoping we'd uh, we just get along and stuff. If he wants to hang around, cool. But I'm not exactly going to go, you know, demon hunting. Who wants to go demon hunting with you? 
And isn't that what pe people want to do? Like, they've had crazy things about bounty hunters and domain diving. And there's even magic school underneath the school. Um, well, it's not, not really on my radar. It's not all demon hunting and crazy domain hopping. I mean, a lot of it can be, but, you know, it's more about learning this part of yourself. That's what the personas kind of are. They're like us now. Mm. Yeah, I didn't really see myself as a midget. <laughs> well, I don't see myself in most sometimes, but, well... Oh, yeah. And uh, he'll be, and he'll just kind of open his eyes again, and he'll be like, "Wow, she really changed a lot." That's what I mean. Uh, she looks around to see if Mo's like out. She's really. <laughs> Caro boing. Caro hasn't shown him though, has she? No. <laughs> this is a kind of a pause. Did you see her? Yeah, she was just behind you. <laughs> Mo, were you? Mao. <laughs> she thinks, does Mao mean no? <laughs> <laughs> From what Kaho has come to understand of Mo, that's like saying, like a -ba -da -boo. Okay. it's fucking random gibberish. She just says in her head again, Mo, were you out behind me? Mm. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> I can remember. Anyway, I learned a lot about Mo and myself, and she grew like that. And... Yeah. It kind of looks I, like she hasn't been eating, right? Oh. Um, no offense and stuff. I mean, skeletons are cool. I didn't, I didn't know that you were into them. Yeah, me too. Um, you know, demons don't really grow like that. They don't need to eat. Uh, and he'll just kind of tilt his head and he'll be like, uh, you know, you, 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 you can eat and stuff, Kaharu. You, you know, you, you're fine as you are. I'm... Thank you. This, we don't, I'm eating. <laughs> She's just like... It's just like well, he just said earlier, Persona is a part of you. <laughs> I know, I know. She's figuring out how he got to this point. Thank you, Coco Kun. I'll make sure to eat. But anyway, what I mean to say is if you need any help with that, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh... It's important, and I wouldn't want you to feel like you're lost in a sea of all this confusing demon magic stuff. And I'm sorry about Jack, by the way. He gets really uh, feisty around other girls. Oh, it's fine. It's like he's oh, jealous. Oh, it's like that other girls. Uh, it's not the first time he's pulled pranks on girls. Right, I just meant, did you... Did, Metalize, did he mean other girls, like, as opposed to one girl? <laughs> As more than speaking? one girl. Yeah. Okay. I was just asking what context it sounded like, because I was like, what the fuck is Jack a girl? <laughs> he's feisty. She's feisty around other girls. That's what he I said. Heard. He's feisty around other yeah, girls. Yeah, I know. I yeah. know, but around other girls. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you get it? Right. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's just clarifying. All right. I'm keeping it as that. Okay. <laughs> okay. He ain't going right. rap occasionally. Well, this. You know, I think it's around now. It's the time I want to start wrapping this scene up. So Kahara will go, right. Well, even if you don't want to get old domain diving, maybe we can help figure out why Jack gets like that. Mm. I mean, you said you said he's your teeth, right? Mm. You should put proud. Yeah, you should. It'd be Hi. nice. would be happy to have you. Oh, the barbecue's that way, he'll point. Right. Thanks, Kogoku. No problem. 
Sorry, I'm going to Kaho okay, does not want to get bullied by Jack. Nope. <laughs> Fuck Jack. You bullied him time... as well. I know, he's an asshole. He was really mean to Akira. <laughs> Called her a potato nigger. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, Jack. She, he's like um, an ape in people's clothing. Do you want a break? And then we'll go to Akira's scene. Sure. Uh, does anybody else want to do anything? Come on, guys, right. all at once. Those that right. did, I, 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 I thought I think everyone did things. Is that yeah, like but... basically you, uh, Rio and Reiko was going to continue the conversation? That's why I didn't say anything. I mean, you can do different stuff. I mean, I'm looking at the time and I'm like, you know. We can get to the next day, though, Jess. I mean, I can just go to Akira right now, and we can work on getting to the I next mean, that's day. why I was quiet, because I assumed that Jess would yeah. want somebody else than yeah. us who already had our go. Oh, I, I, I was just thinking you guys would want to do some nice social stuff. You no, don't no, have no, no, to stick no. to the one no, thing Jess. a day. Huh? Yeah, yeah, no, but I mean, this is the second half of this day, Jess, remember? Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. I have... I think people yeah. are just conscious that they want to go the next day, and people can do plenty the next day. I think people just yeah. don't want to extend the day that's, the, you know, from the last time. No, <laughs> I was just waiting because I already went. Same here. Oh, that too. Not um, when I said first. What's your? Do you want to go? What? Honestly, I think with the way things are going, Ryu probably wouldn't have uh, be talking to much people on that first day. All right. Other than maybe um, dropping off the two demonconizers with Reiko. So, of his gift, him giving everything to everyone in the gift list. All right. All right. Um, I guess I, I can go then, just to get somebody, uh, get, get a new voice in, the, in, in here. Yeah. Yeah, boy. All right, um, Who are you going to go talk to, big guy? Yeah. Um, Can't take a curious advice. <laughs> just confirm. Kira basically said, go immediately, right? Yeah. Yeah, just confirming that. Pretty much, yeah, that's what he's going to go do. I mean, it's Raph after all. Um, I figured basically Himiko is basically doing the ninja thing, right? Uh... I mean, she would have. I mean, you said you were going to meet back up with her, so yeah. she wouldn't have left your side once you got off your bo off the boat. Okay. I do basically. Um, it, did she bring a bag? Yeah, she brought like a okay. rucksack. She brought like a backpack. All right. Um, Surprisingly do... feminine, you know, like it's super pink. Got it. The and rapid. there's. Uh, Go. There's some lightning bolts on it. <laughs> Rafa is carrying it in unless she basically said uh, anything otherwise. His, his instinct was he picked it up when he picked up his own bag. So unless right. she takes it from him, he's carrying it. All right. And uh, she'll be like, uh, well, we, we don't have a map or anything. Uh, she'll kind of look at you. <laughs> I'm gonna guess the giant house over there on the on the rocks is gonna be um, the main place where we drop off our stuff. And yeah, I'm gonna also guess that basically there's gonna be somebody there to tell us generally where we can have where we can go. Yeah, according to uh, according to Mogo, we can also camp as well. We don't have to stay in the house. Hmm. That sounds like an interesting idea. Uh, what's that's... Yeah, there's like a bunch of places here that won't have as many people around. Well, sometimes we're going to be wanting to be around people, and it's a good place to drop off the bags. I mean, what, you say... mm, what do you? And he'll, she'll just kind of, uh, she'll just kind of tap her foot, and she'll be like, uh, uh, "I, where do you kind want to go of, hang out? Uh, oh, oh!" And she'll just stop what she was saying, and she'll be like, "Um, uh." We can, hmm, um, um, where? So, 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 roll a 1D 
four. <laughs> I think it's five places. One D five. Uh, the big mountainy bit for climbing shit. <laughs> the mountain. Oh, we can go rock climbing. Actually, that'd be kind of interesting. Um... And uh, she'll be like, uh, mm. and she'll just open her bag and she'll start taking some stuff out. And uh, do you want to roll understanding? Sure. Not bad. All right. So, uh, so she would have, uh, she would have had like a bunch of random tools. Like you see, like a pick. You see some knives. <laughs> you see a bomb. Wait, I take that. You see some rope. Why do you have this in your backpack? Uh, in case we get ambushed. Sure, put it back in the bag. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh, that thing happens. Two important people. No, like a small bomb, not like a huge one. You know, like the yeah. like you know in Naruto when they have all that shit in their in their pouch. Okay, is it a bomb? Yeah. I meant more is it like the top Looney Tunes looking. No, I mean it's like a brick sphere. of C four with a couple of triggers on it. Yeah, that's I what I'm actually like, seeing. Yeah, that's more. What yeah, no, it actually how? looks like small gray how? ball. Wait, what? So, what? Yeah, I guess Raph wouldn't recognize it as a bomb, but it is a yeah, bomb. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, yeah. you know, are we talking like a legitimate, real ass, like, I made a bomb bomb, or like a funny no, it ninja doesn't, bomb? No, it doesn't. It looks like a ninja bomb, not like an acme okay. bomb. That makes sense. Yeah. Right. yeah. I guess they just look like small balls to Raph. Ah. He's like, oh, let's play marbles. He flicks one and blows up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Basilisk, no! <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So you'll be like, um, we might need the rope and the picks would be good. Uh, should I take the parachute? A parachute Parachuting would be fun. <laughs> um, I only have one, though. I can hold you. That'll be fine. Okay. Mm. Yeah. All right. Okay. So you need to put your bag in the. Uh, you need to put your your bag in the in 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 the holdings, right? Uh, yeah. You probably want to put something you're not using, light or low. And she'll take a smaller bag out of her bag. I can just put it in here. Got it. And she'll put the stuff that they'll need for rock climbing in the smaller bag, and she'll strap it to her back. And she'll be right. and she'll punch her arms out as in like she's uh, stretching. I figure we'll, we're talking about this as we're sort of walking toward the. Yeah, yeah. It's... Like she would have stopped oh. to, to sort out yeah, the massive yeah, tools obviously. that don't look like she a normal person would need them on holiday. Yeah. That much is certain. Uh, question: Is her? Yeah, I was gonna ask that. I mean, what? It was a, it, it was a fairly, it was a fairly big rucksack, but um, it's magical. So. Okay. So it's not like it's not like it's dwarf in here. Right. Like, it's not like a small bag. Yeah. No, I, I forget as much. Again, as as Rap says, it's, it, basically he'd be confused if it wasn't magical. Yeah. So a magical right. bag wouldn't be able to contain all of this weaponry. <laughs> All right, they go. Uh, Raph and he go to drop off their bags. Do check to see if like there's like, like some sort of like sign up sheet or basically if there's some sort of way that guests are telling them where they're going so that you know they don't lose kids on the island. All right. So I mean, when you get up to the house, you will see that. Hmm, let me think. You will see that there is a goblin wearing a wearing a suit. Okay. And he is checking things off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I'm your, I'm your personal guidance for this tour, sir. I am a pimp, personal imp. Good to know. <laughs> All I right. I mean, 
Oh, goblin. Oh, no, I've, I've destroyed my identity. You've destroyed them. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that was <laughs> I thought he was a goblin who thought he's an imp. Oh, you want to be an imp or goblin? Yeah. Uh, I think it sounds like you want an imp. Since he's I kind of want to die. <laughs> you kind of want to just leave him as goblin and calls himself a, a, a personal imp? Yeah, let's do that. I like All that, right. sure. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm scanning him with the demon dex. <laughs> <laughs> he's a goblin, obviously. Okay. Good it's obviously a goblin. He identifies as an imp. Okay. <laughs> he identifies as a pimp. Come on. Mm. Not one of those gimps or wimps. <laughs> Shit, what's what are gimps again? Ah, uh, fuck! I forget. Guard imps. Guard imps. Oh yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Guard imps. Thank you. Wimps or wizard imps. P and personal imps. I love imp culture. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, he'll he'll start writing things down before you talk. Um, we have a couple of bags to drop off. Right, right, right. Do you uh, yeah. check for contraband, sir? Seriously? Uh, yeah. Do you have any bands of contra? Nope. <laughs> Do he'll just kind of be like, Yeah, I don't see any contrabands, you can go through. Get through. All right. Hey, do there have to be like a map of the island or something like that, would there? Uh, n- n- no, I don't think Matoki would go that far, to be honest. So you can make your own map. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rob's gonna do it just to get it to pull one of the sheets and make his own map of the place. Uh, you take one of one of uh, Gobby's peas. P. He called himself Pimp. You take yes. Pimp's one of Pimp sheets, and you can. Oh, you doing my map sheets? I thought oh, I... okay. That's fine then. I thought you just took one of his. Let's yeah. see it. No. <laughs> okay. Should I roll it or not? Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, that's a sucky map. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you don't you don't get the names or anything of the place, but you get you get an you get an outline of it. Yeah. You see that there's mountain place, forest <laughs> bit, rocky bit, and I really have this. How about this? I have this, including the spelling as it's written. <laughs> yeah, like you don't get any hidden information. You just yeah. see it as it is on the page, right. basically. You know what I'm saying even like the spelling that you like the spelling little things yes. that's how it actually reads on my map. This is the actual <laughs> representation of my map. <laughs> With the little figure it. heads and everything. <laughs> All right. it's, it's not a bad map because it is a, but it's not the best you've yeah, ever no, made. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. It, it's functional. I am very much embarrassed. Wrath is very embarrassed by that. <laughs> he hides it. Oh my god. Imco will reach over for the map. It's not very good. Mm, mm. It's all right to me. Mm, mm. I mean, I suppose you wouldn't know where all the secret stuff unless you've uh, scoped out the place yourself. Well, we'll make up the. We'll, we'll have some fun looking for looking into that. All right, all right. So, do you want to jump off the mountain? Sure. You got a parachute, right? Yeah. And. Uh, Mm, I can use my magical powers so that we float down as well. So let's go. I can control wind and earth, so I think we're safe. Oh, I can control fire and more fire. Anyway, I probably shouldn't use that here. No, let's not. (laughs) Well, light is like more fire to her. (laughs) So... (laughs) It burns. All yes. right. <laughs> what? Yeah. Anyway. Um, then yeah. Raph, Raph does change. It. He was. He's not immediately going to go find uh, Katsumi. He's going off on the adventure on the mountain climbing adventure with Himiko instead. All right. So I'm <laughs> assuming you don't have a rock climbing. <laughs> 
No. But uh, again, since I can mold Earth, I mean... <laughs> I, you can, I can even make... roll your magic die, or... Um, actually, you can try and make an asset to see if it will help you with your climb. And I'll, roll, and I'll make up a Doom Pool to see okay. if it works or not. So, I guess it'll just be like Rap. a battle roll. Yeah. All right. Buddy? Uh, yeah, Himiko will help. Unless you want to be solo. No, we'll do this together. All right. Oh. I figure uh, you only get one magic die from me. I'm not using Ku, right? Yes. I okay. mean, Ku would be like if you really need my assistance. Right. But he's not like gunning to like cut up some rock. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. All yeah. right. So I'll just say it's fairly easy. 5d8. Damn. Wow. Uh, if I had rolled two eights, I would have beaten you, <laughs> but no. All right. So I'm assuming you're going to use the D8. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, you can add that to your diligence or intuition roll, that D8. Um, all right. I'll add it to uh, diligence. It's my best. And it right. makes the most sense for Raph anyway. Yeah. Okay. Where's your name? So let's see who who's the better climber to see uh, who will be the one with the rope on. So that's all. Wow. B of 14, my friend. All right. So I'm going to say, doesn't Himiko get the group? Or plus D8? Uh, she wouldn't have used it unless, you know, she was struggling. All right. Like she's yeah, she's just doing that shit naturally. So yeah, I can't beat it. The most I can get is a is a twelve on my D twelve. So but I'll roll it just to avoid ones. Damn. <laughs> wow. I mean I was gonna say you could add it to your roll, the D eight to your roll. Oh okay. Because you know, it's it's not like it's a super magical mountain and you're right. using magic to help you. But she still beat you anyway. <laughs> so Yeah, but I mean, come on, these are these, these <laughs> people would have I mean <laughs> Raf has his magical you know like in wars where they have like the, the the grips you can grip onto with your hands and feet, like rock climbing walls. Yeah. Like you'd have those appear in the surface. Yeah. Or, and no. uh, you're able to catch up with Himiko and she's really fast. Like she's using, she's like using her kunai, which is really oh, yeah. impractical actually, to like make her give her positioning on the on the rock, and her feet. Uh, you notice that uh, she changed her 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 her, her um her footwear into boots, and you can see there's uh, there's there's like points coming out of her boot Got to it. stick into the wall. She's using like, full on blade. ninja tools. Yeah. Right. Well, she isn't using like the big pickaxe in the rope. She's just using like her base, what she would consider basic stuff. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I understand. So yeah. So you got a ninja, you got a ninja going up one way, and you got basically a guy who's use, you know manipulating magic going up the other, and they're fast. <laughs> yes. But yeah, she did beat me. All right. And as you're going up the mountain, you'll kind of hear this this huge fluttering of wings. And in the corner of your eye, you can see this, uh, I'd say this dark, not pink, but like, uh, you know what griffin looks like? Yes. Yeah. You, you see this griffin purchasing on one of the, uh, purchasing on one of the, t the, the, t the tips of the not as big a mountain thing. Could I, ro can I roll a, um... Purchasing. Either an understanding or a knowledge to see if I, because I mean, remember, I saw griffin, I mean, I'm making the assumption that this is her Griffin, and I did see it in the combat in the te in the um, Halloween night. 
Mm, I'd say you can the roll your Halloween night. <laughs> what the fuck? The Hollow? Yes. The Halloween night. Dave, you're fucking incredible. I don't even know how you get there from Hollow. <laughs> Halloween. I, yeah, I said I, I slurred out the ho- I slurred out the Halloween into Halloween just because I just slurred out that word. It was actually there's actually. There's a connection. There was no connection there between those two. I was saying literally, the Halloween night, and it just came out as hollow. Whatever. Fuck it. What? Well, anyway, yes. it'll be a straight intuition roll in public. Got it. All right. Oh yeah. All right. So when you look at this, Griffin, uh, it doesn't look particularly unique, but you feel like it's fairly powerful. Maybe you've encountered it in the past, but it's not like uh, it's not like Griffin is like a unique demon, like a like um, Q is. Right. It's, it's just a Griffin. Underst- okay. So. so I think I might have seen it in the past, but since we're walking around a school where there's all types of creatures walking around all the time. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing unique about it. It's just a Griffin. Okay. You know how ridiculous that sounds, but considering it's been like a few months, you've seen like you've seen a bunch of goblins, a bunch of gargoyles. Yeah, like, no, there's, said, there's more than I, one of them. My only argument would basically be a pink version would stand out a little bit, but fine with that. That's just the image is pinkish. That's why. Yeah, but it, yeah, that's it. I mean, remember this in the school it's we not, have. It's it's not a, like I think they're all like that by definition. Yeah. It's like pinky brownie. It's not like bright pink. With I'm gonna go look at the picture and tell you it's not pink. Yeah, because unless you're coloring it pinkish, oh. it, they're not pinkish. Unless there's it's the Pacific oh, one that you I found. Mean, well, I mean they are by in this art. Okay. It's it's it's, it's Griffin. It's Griffin. Yes, it's it's a griffin. Yeah, it looks it looks like a normal griffin, but it's a powerful one. You know what I mean? Um, I'll say yes. Yes. So it's not just any. It it feels different from. The, it's not wearing a suit as well. So you know, it's not one of Matoki's highs. Got it. But yeah, I mean, since this is her uh, island is filled with basically all the mythical poetics from Rai Academy, seeing random creatures is not going to stick out any. Just, yeah. 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 There's other yeah, people it's in the It's not like a huge, oh no. It's yeah. Like, oh. No, I got that. Yeah. I get that. All right. Okay. Um, do we find anything interesting, like caves or stuff like that, or basically. There's just little, like, there's little, like, holy places but not like big caves or anything so right. they're kind of cool from a cool like cool camp standpoint but nothing like magic cool got it right. and eventually you'll reach the top and it's quite small at the top not really a place you can walk around and stuff got it and uh you could be like we did it that was actually pretty fun. Breathing yeah. a little bit hard. Yeah, climbing stuff's really fun. Yeah, um, I agree with you. I'm assuming you're not into parkour or anything, then. Like, I hear a satay's a really good climb. Um, I... I don't know, might be interested in trying that out sometime. I've, I saw a bunch of kids doing that back home, but... I never got into it myself. I was just doing other things. Yeah, Raph is aware of his pee pee belly. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> it's grumbling a bit. <laughs> anyway, and uh, anyway. she'll be she'll be like, uh, mm, I mean, uh, I haven't really done it for fun. I've done it for uh, investigation. I guess it would be weird seeing somebody climb about the city with green hair, so I'm kind of told to keep it on the down low. I get stopped and stuff for autographs a lot. Cool. Maybe when she's we not get saying back... that in like a congratulatory way. She's just kind of thinking things through as to why she can't just go around climbing buildings in the middle of the day. Right. 
Maybe sometime at night you can show me how to do some of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's like the place is totally different at night. Well, I suppose it wouldn't be as scary now since the demon's gone. So yep. that's totally doable, actually. All right, cool. Sounds like a plan. Mm-hmm. So, can you see anybody? Uh, she'll kind of, she'll just kind of uh, narrow her eyes and she'll be like, there's a bunch of people. Uh, if you want me to to tag anybody, I could probably do that. I don't think we need to do, worry about that right now. Oh, oh okay. That's fine. So just sit down. Did you remember bringing? Uh, did you bring any food to eat? Uh, sh I forgot the rations. Uh, I uh, didn't. I left them back in the bag. The emergency rations. All right. Uh. Well, I'm sorry, I, I, I do send a text to uh, Matoki. Hey, do you do delivery on the top of, on the mountaintop? <laughs> and he's like, what? <laughs> I'm up here on the mountaintop. I forgot to bring up some food. Wait, dude, you scaled that? Yeah. You've been here for an hour. It was fun. I mean, I, I modified it a little bit, but I'll change it back, so don't worry about it. You yeah, what? I changed, I made some handholds so I can get up fast. Oh, okay. Do you want well, me to leave them? You made it sound like you like you made like a you you exploded it or something. Oh no! Hey, if you want, I can make like a small little like um, table and some chairs up here, so you can. It's a pretty good view, actually. Have you ever been up here? Uh, no. I'll I'll leave the stairs up and and uh and you can come up here sometime. It's a really great place. All right, buddy. Thumbs up. <laughs> yes, I know that's a completely strange text. Oh, uh, well, you know. <laughs> and uh, Himiko will be like, mm. and she'll just kind of, uh, she'll just, she'll just kind of pinch her hand, and she'll be like, I won't forget that next time. Neither will I. All right. Um. Uh, so, um, I guess you're going back to the academy on Monday, uh, are you looking forward to that? Uh, I am, actually. You are? Well, I mean, I, I'm really getting used to the school, I mean, you're really enjoying it down there. Mm. Oh, so... It's like different from actual real school then. I've always caused problems in my old school, so all my old all the times were basically the same sort of just with me doing the stupid stuff. But here I feel like it's a part like I mean I I feel like this is the first school I belong to. Or is it, or is letting me or is letting me and not fighting me with it. So, so I'm having a lot of fun actually at school, finally. And she'll, she'll just kind of, uh, like, you know when you sit down and you hold your knees? Yep. And she'll be like, uh, it's not exactly like I can be myself at the, at the school. Uh, you're not allowed to bring weapons or anything. Uh, when the other kids bully the other ones, usually I just, I would want to you know, deliver justice, but um, I'm not very good at holding back, so I kind of have to, well, be as loud as I can and distract their attention. Wait, that's what's happening at your old school? And it happens everywhere, doesn't it? Well, I mean... There's a pretty, I mean... Mariah's got a pretty easy weapon carry system. You can carry it. <laughs> yeah, not the same as a satay comp. Yeah, it, I suppose, uh, well, 
some kids there are like they have the potential but it's not really the right place to do that kind of stuff yeah i mean well it's pretty much like anywhere where i mean you gotta you we have to play by the laws of the of sort of like the, the land and i mean last time we basically went we went against the school it kind of went back it it struck back against us pretty heavy yeah yeah i mean the way you make it sound like it that going to the academy next year will actually be pretty cool and you'll be my senpai there i guess i guess so but yeah it will be really cool sometimes i feel like i'm missing out i mean most of your friends are first years right yeah i mean i know a couple of second and third years but for the most part yeah i'm all first years so that's fine i i won't <laughs> i'll hang out with you just the same even though you'll be a first year and i'll be a second year next year mm. Mm. i mean well I'd hope so. I wouldn't want to drag you down or anything. You wouldn't be dragging me down. I mean, besides, you, you're you there most Wednesdays, so you kind of know how it works. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of... I kind of can go where I want to. Yeah. Mm. And she'll just kind of rub her hand, and uh, she'll be like, um... Mm. What else to talk about? What else to talk about? Um, Is she so, actually saying that? Yeah. Just has a smile on his face. Um, and uh, she'll look. She'll she'll look lost. Do you have a blanket in there? Oh, I didn't. I I didn't think we were we'd be staying here long, so I didn't bring the blanket or the heat lamp or anything like that um should I I have... all right no i mean it's a little bit cold mm. um um you're not weak to fire but um uh mm. what she'll be like oh uh, Maybe if I throw it up really high, it won't be anything. And then uh, she'll just no, kind of no. lift her hands up. No, you don't and, have to. Uh, well, it's too late now. <laughs> you'll just, she'll just kind of lift her hands up, and you'll, you'll just kind of feel intensely hot. There's a huge blazing fireball floating in on, above you. Oh, you just start some... to visibly sweat. I definitely use my wind to basically push it farther up. <laughs> I will be de as deflecting it. A little too hot. Floating into the sky, and um, people who manage to look up, they can see it. But yeah. um, you don't know that. <laughs> no, I yes, I think I, I mean there's a mini sun floating above the uh, floating above the um, mountain. I think I can recognize it. Can you turn that off? <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Uh, she'll just kind of pinch her hand again, and it will go off. <laughs> cool trick. Uh, sorry. I sort of just create like a little like um a windbreak from the stone, like sort of like in a semicircle around us. Mm. Um. Yeah. I. Uh, um. Yeah, that's why I bring the heat lamp. It's a small thing. <laughs> Oh. Mm. Um. It's... By the way, are you gonna sleep tonight in the house, or are you gonna sleep outside? I didn't really think about it. Um. I guess. Um. I kind of like sleeping when there's not a lot of people around, just in case. I sort of look over at her like. <laughs> Well, I'm a, I'm I tend to roll about in my sleep. Okay. 
There's nothing to worry about. She'll say that quickly. Um, I don't know what kind of sleeping arrangements have been worked out around here. Um, apparently there's like uh, there's a couple of places that you can sleep. Like, like there's some there's some tents as well for people who who would overcrowd the house and stuff. Uh, but I brought my own tent and stuff. Uh, but if you want to sleep in the house, that's cool. I I can camp outside. I mean, I mean, I'll put a sign saying it's my tent. If you want to find it in the morning or something. <laughs> right. Okay, hold on, give me a minute. Okay, um, Raph is speechless. <laughs> Um, right. I mean, yeah. some of the rooms, they've doubled up because, you know, there are people here that have partners, but, um, well, I, uh, you kind of had to state it beforehand and, well, I mean, people, it's not like there's a bunch of rules here and anything. I just would prefer sleeping where there's not as many people around. I mean, if you were considering that, of course, but uh, you don't have do to, to look at her. You and all right, yeah. Um, so are you saying that you might want me to help sleep in your tent with you? <laughs> it's rough. Uh, I got to. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I wouldn't I, object. I'm, I will be spending PowerPoint, so I need to spend, I need to roll uh, intuition plus understanding, maybe. <laughs> on what? On, on the question, is she innocent or bold? <laughs> Because right. Raph has no clue what's going I mean, should I roll or do you roll in private? Uh, you can roll. All right. That should definitely get, like, the plus four, minus four. <laughs> <laughs> no, the minus two will be offset by your social link modifier with him, okay? So you'll get a plus one. All right. So understanding intuition. Come on, one. Eight. All right, that was your intuition. All right, uh, you get the you uh you get the feeling that she's not exactly being like you know a temptress. She right. says you know she figured that's what people do when they're in a relationship. They sleep in the same bed and stuff, and she she doesn't like sleeping around other people because right. uh, she's a bit fizzy. Like like you notice like she was uh. She was kind of looking away as if she was embarrassed about that fact, rather than, you know, trying to just lead you out to, into the middle of nowhere at night. Got like it. She genuinely has a problem with, you know, that. Crap. All right. Um, damn it. All right. Uh, sounds like it's, it sounds like it'd be fun. Sure. I would enjoy that. Oh, oh, good. And she'll be, she'll just kind of smile, and uh, she will, she will, uh, she'll move her hand, and she'll, she'll awkwardly tap your knee. <laughs> All right. Um. What was it? Actually, yeah, he'll hold his hand out for her. All right. And uh, she'll be like, uh, so whenever you want to go down uh, or glide down, just let me know and I'll set up the suit. All right. Let's, uh, let's spend a little time to look around, though. It's a nice view. All right. And uh, you can spend your time doing that. And then yes. you can glide down 
and Timiko will hold you as you glide down. <laughs> I will be using wind to help support our weight, because I'm pretty sure her, <laughs> it's going to tax her, uh, fly, her flying outfit. Oh, you know, it won't be as swoopy doopy as it would have been just by herself. Out of curiosity, is it a does she have a parachute or does she have one of those body wings? Because I could kind of see her having one of those instead. It would be like the body wings, like the controlled parachute rubber, then like you know the the uh, half a balloon look one. Right. Do you uh, um have you seen? Uh, there's these things. They have them now. There's these suits that you can wear that are pretty much act, you turn you into a flying squirrel. They're really compact. Um, and they work. Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, I don't have like a mental image in my head right now. Okay. Basically, just imagine, uh, literally, basically, a, a person that has like the suit on that makes them look, has like wings, goes from the arms to connect to their, um, legs. So they look like a flying squirrel. And, oh, okay. It, so it's... it has the aerodynamics and all that stuff. It's all worked out. So literally, after, like, just Google it. Yeah, picture yeah. here. Sorry. Didn't look at that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're sad as fucking computer flying Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> across the World Wide Web. Yes, I will wear that. you stop this like 20 minute discussion on wingsuits to go, oh, I could just get a link for this. Fuck you two. You're both complicit. All right. I don't think it'd work for carrying someone down, though. Yeah, I mean, those I was... typically are only designed for one person. She said yeah. parachute. <laughs> uh, it's parachute. I was thinking the one that you attach to your shoulders and they go outward. Right. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. All right. But, uh, next time you can have yeah. the suit. So she will carry you down. She'll hold okay. you in the bridal position. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, you know. How yeah, else is she no. gonna hold you? Okay. Exactly. Right. Exactly how I see their relationship. <laughs> and we can go to somebody else if they wanna have a thing. Yeah. I know Rio good. wanted to. And uh, I guess you're Shakira. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 Kira. Okay, yeah. I mean I could if someone else wanted to go, I could wait. Are, are we just doing this afternoon with like twenty fucking all right, hell yeah. Rio went to FK, so... Yeah. yeah, I'm so used to being on a holiday where we're restricted like dogs. <laughs> hey, all I know is, like, uh, basically, apparently, basically, Raph and Himiko are sleeping, in, sleep, are sleeping together tonight, so... Yeah? Are you sleeping on the mountain or below the mountain? Where would you go? We got a movie on the map. Uh, somewhere around there. Okay. All right. We'll be with her task force. I couldn't find the Himiko head, just It's not yeah. on any of the maps anymore. Yeah, it's... So, it's, um... I don't know where it is. <laughs> yeah, I don't it's think it's on any of the maps. Yeah, I think you just got lost. It's probably off-screen on, like, the door map or some stupid shit. Yeah, that's it, you said. Yeah, you said it, yeah? Oh, baby, baby. Yeah. Oh. 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 There you go. There you go. Uh oh, huh, yeah. There you go. You found it. Where was it? I just dragged it from the page. Like the oh, character. I didn't see it on her page. Yeah, you just drag it. You don't oh, like okay. go onto the page. Like you click Got the it. name, like we oh. open the drop down list, and then yeah, you drag yeah, yeah. it. It'll work. Hold on, let me tilt this so it's correct. There you go. <laughs> Lord. Mm -hmm. Wow, Raph, your head is so big compared to mine. I know. It's the hair. It's the hair. <laughs> it's the hair. He's a man. All right. Smiting? Yes, your thing. You said you wanted look. to talk to an NPC. Yeah, I'm going to go look for Suzuki. Okay? Alright, can you That's roll me? Doing. Can you roll me your intuition? Uh huh. The buffs too. Uh, do I add anything to this? 
or just send to us. Uh, no, it's just you're just trying to find somebody. <laughs> yeah, that's what I find. That's what I asked. Uh, it's yeah. about the PP to add uh, understanding, figure out, deduce this situation. Deduce. Yeah. Damn. Okay. I'm dedu looks like I deduced it. You deduced it. You walk. I mean, it's not like yes, I know exactly where to go. You just find it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> deduced it, Jess. Please. You figured like she's not going to be on the really populated bit, so let's go check the other one out. Oh, like, she's there. I like that she was just sitting on the field somewhere. Yes. <laughs> she's grazing with her sheep. Hey, <laughs> 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 Chiba. <laughs> All right. So she is sitting next to one of the rock pools. She has a little net. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's fishing. <laughs> and uh, give me a moment. All right. I need to figure out what her die would be. Okay. What's her worst? <laughs> Bullied. Uh, that's her best, all right. So, oh. give me a moment. All right, and she'll be like, uh, hey. Hey. Was that a hey? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were making like fishing sounds for a second. No. <laughs> it started out like enthusiastic, then it dropped. Wow. Savage. Jeez. Whoa. Uh, hey. Uh, Am I interrupting the fishing? Oh, no, no. Uh, uh, fishing is interesting. Yeah, can I roll understand? <laughs> yes. Right. Do I have the modifier? Yeah. Right. Do I have my other modifier? Is that not <laughs> applicable? Uh, no, it's not applicable.